Speaking of chips, my Aunt Chippy was on TV on Monday. My Aunt Chippy had a guest acting spot on a true crime show on Investigation Discovery, the channel. It's called Betrayed. It's on Monday nights. She loved it. She played a woman who was friends with a woman who got murdered. They reenact the whole thing. And, well, with that said, I now present for your Emmy consideration my Aunt Chippy. Priscilla, I wish you would meet a nice guy for a change. It's just been one creep after another. I know. I have never been lucky in love. What do you know about these guys that you meet at these parties? Well, I guess all I know is that he was married. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's some serious, that's some high caliber acting going on there. So, <laughs> but what Aunt Chippy didn't know is that the reason she was there was so we could pull a prank on her. I'm always looking for new ways to get her going, and she loves this show, Betrayed. So we told her they contacted us to give her a part on the show. We deployed my cousin Sal to go undercover, and believe it or not, we got her again. All right, we're on the set of the show Betrayed, where my Aunt Chippy is a real guest star, and Neil over here is a fake director. Is that right, Neil? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Never done it before? Never. Great, you're hired. Go get her. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you, Chippy? Hi. Hi, Neil, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. There's your mark right there. I'm not used to reading lines. On my nephew's show, I just do whatever the hell happens. <laughs> She's extra salty today. We're good. OK, let's just try and get a little good vibes going here among the actors, OK? Maybe maybe we try vocal exercises. Let's do a vocal warm-up. Everybody just says, <laughs> OK, we're rolling. Let's get right into it. Also, I, I know you were late. Were you able to get into makeup? And you got makeup, right? You, you ran a little late. That's OK. I just wanted to make sure that it's where it needs to be. And <laughs> we'll do it. OK. Your first line is, you can put me down for a set. We're at a Tuppyware party. Yeah. And you know, it's an old thing. Tuppyware? So. Tuppyware, right? Tepperware. <laughs> I'll sell you an R. OK. Well, the line is, you can put me down for a set. Sounds rolling. Mark it. Action. This is our number one bestseller, ladies. I'll take one of that set. Let's Cut. You can put me down for a set. A set of Tuppyware. <laughs> Action. Oh, you could put me down for a set. Wonderful. Everyone enjoy the finger sandwiches. I know I have a line. Priscilla, I wish you could meet a nice guy for a change. Yeah. It's just been one creep after another. OK. OK? Action. I wish you could find a guy that isn't a creep. Cut. I wish you could find somebody that's not a creep for change. OK, cut. I wish you could find somebody other okay, than a creep. OK, back up. There was just okay. you never find cut. the right guy. You find somebody that's not a creep. Just one guy after another. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is you're, you're trying to do a Brooklyn accent. Are you doing an accent on purpose? No, that's the way I talk. What accent is that? Brooklyn. Brooklyn? I've never heard that as a Brooklyn accent. I lived in Brooklyn for a little while. I was born there. You were? Yeah. I've seen The Sopranos. I saw the first two seasons. It doesn't sound like Brooklyn to me. I watched that. I'm a big fan of Sopranos and everything. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Well, my brother lived in Williamsburg from oh, 2009 it? to 2010. So. OK, can you try the line maybe with a little less of the accent that you have? Does that make sense? I'll try. J just in case the executives hate the Brooklyn thing. Just in case the executives don't go for the Brooklyn thing that you're trying to do. Bull they're going to love the Brooklyn thing. See, that, that was Brooklyn. That was Brooklyn, yeah. That was Brooklyn. Out on the stoop. Forget about it. Pizza. OK, um, just on you. Action. Priscilla, I wish That's you could find. That's a little find... too much Brooklyn. Just a little, just Priscilla. 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 <laughs> I wish you could meet a nice guy for a change. It's just been one creep after another. One more vocal exercise? You think that would help? Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, um, I want to do another take of this, but um, I'd like you guys to really have a reaction to the finger sandwiches. Can you inhale like you're surprised to see the finger sandwiches? Okay, and action. Well, everyone enjoys the finger sandwiches. <gasps> and can everybody say finger sandwiches? Finger sandwiches! Okay, good job, everybody. Okay, I know it's a little tense. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so guys, we really gotta start focusing here on set. You know, we're all, this is a job. No way. What was she wearing? What was she wearing? What was she wearing? Question mark. <laughs> I'm on set. We're running behind. Yeah, it's a show. <laughs> Let's move it. OK. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, got my finger. Mm. OK, everybody focus up. We wasted a lot of time this morning. We'll take it from the very end of your line. Action. We haven't even gotten the second half of the action. We haven't gotten the second half of the scene. Action. It's wonderful how you support yourself. Priscilla, it's been Okay, cut. Let's just let's try with a sexier bite. Okay. I want everybody to be just a little bit more um aroused, maybe. Okay? Action. It's wonderful how you support yourself. And, and that's as sexy as you can get? Can you vocalize? Can you say, mm, mm? Can you do it in a more womanly way? Uh, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm hearing Al Pacino here. A little less Italian, a little less Brooklyn, a lot more feminine. OK, action. Sexy butt. Mmm. It's too Italian. It's too Italian. It's still too Italian. OK. <sighs> Let's get somebody who's not Italian. OK. I'm trying to follow your advice. We have an understudy in here. This has been Good. a really unprofessional. Sally? That's fine. Can we get you in, Sally? I'm bringing in somebody All else. All right, I'm ready to take over. You! I don't believe you, Sally. And you! You deserve a smack to do it. And keep throwing in that book and yeah, okay. Crazy. Okay. Shut up, you were born there too. I'm saying to myself, I'm in a nightmare. Yeah. This is a nightmare. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.